Hello. Have you ever wanted to play Spectral Throw? N no. <laughs> Silly me, the, this YouTube metric data is, it's all from 2013. <laughs> okay, well, here's a build guide for it anyways. First, an overview of the build. The clear speed is fine. The character is pretty dang fast on its own, but Spectral Throw can be a little slow to clear with due to a good portion of its damage being delayed. The bossing, however, is pretty good, especially if you can set up your damage properly. But fights with invulnerability phases or where you have to move a lot can be rough, such as any encounter involving Maven's Arena. The effective HP of the build is fine. It's not the tankiest, but not the squishiest, just fine. The sustain, however, is horrible. You're dying if you're not hitting something, on account of how mad you are, of course. The build's easy to clear with, but slightly annoying to boss with due to all of the conditional factors that your damage relies on. But overall, it's a pretty fun build. It's really speedy fast, and it's super satisfying when you line up your damage boost from focus properly alongside your Val Spectral Throw and some pre-fired Spectral Throws on the boss. It's also really fun to explore the focus mechanic with the new power added to Unveiled mods this patch. Overall, this build kinda makes Spectral Throw work in modern PoE, which is saying a lot. Here's the finished passive tree for the build at level 95. Aspect of Carnage is better damage than Blitz by about 10 to 15%, so take that for better killing and better dying if you're not a fan of sweet, sweet attack speed. However, as you get more crit chance on your gear, Blitz raises in value and can compete on damage with Aspect of Carnage fairly well, so you don't have to take that damage taken penalty to get the most out of your ascendancy. Also, you may want to spec out of the knockback on crit node blunt trauma when you're mapping, as the knockback can be pretty annoying when you're fighting things that are not immune to knockback. On to the gems. For your Val Spectral Throw setup, swap out GMP for slower projectiles when bossing. It makes bossing so fun, so fun. And it doubles your damage, so it's necessary. For your gear, you want to focus on focus to focus the power of your focus. You want focus stats on every slot possible, with the main ones for damage being chance for double damage while focused on your weapon, attack speed while focused on gloves, and shock nearby enemies when you focus on your ring. For slots that can have two different effects, you can have an unveiled mod in addition to a crafted mod for a larger focus on focus. Boots can have a cooldown recovery for focus mod which helps a lot with focus's cooldown, and the unique belt Hyperboreus gives a great chill effect, a ton of CDR for focus, and possibly are your critical strikes are lucky while focused mod so you can replace your diamond flask. With a few unveiled chaos mods, Hyperboreus and the boot CDR mod, focus can easily reach a cooldown of around 6 seconds for really great uptime. After that, get as much crit chance and multiplier on jewelry, jewels, and your chest piece as possible, my gear had none of this, except for rares with mostly crafted focus mods, and the build worked great, so there's plenty of room to scale the damage and survivability of the build. As for the staff, if you can't find a perfect cane of Kulamak for the build, an eventuality rod with decent physical DPS and a crafted or Ashling Veiled Slam chance to deal double damage while focused works just as well or even better than a cane of Kulamak, but you will have to mess around with the passive tree a little bit to pick up some impale nodes on it. An example of this is included in the POB in the description. Some extra nice things to have for this build include a Bottled Faith, Awakened Melee Physical Damage to allow your totems to intimidate on hit, and any other Awakened Support Gems that fit into this build for that little bit of extra damage. And that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. If you like the build guide, maybe give it a like, consider subscribing if you're so inclined, and have a great day. See ya!